Hello, this video about the wand keep alive board. Uh, so I've got an unmodified pack here. I'll start it up and start a timer. And just so it's not too obnoxious, I'm turning it down. Just a little bit of background. Okay. So we've got about three minutes. Unmodified pack, it should power down after three minutes. And so with this, uh, just got a wand here. Actually, let me turn off the sound. So, got a wand here, and the only modification, I'll open it up here, other than missing some screws at this point in time, is uh, we do have the Keep Alive board. So it's just this little board right here. Um, it has a set of eight wires. Try to make that less noisy. Has a set of uh, eight wires here that get soldered to the back of the circuit board inside and then a little mounting bracket that holds it in place and you know that's the whole thing. So this is going to be the magic. Does it do much for the wand? It also keeps the wand alive. So let's see if I can get that put back together and if hey, I got three minutes I guess you gotta watch me fool with this. So got an unmodified wand, no batteries, you know. Nothing happens here. And with that simple modification, what we do now is uh, two things. It's uh, just the one board in the wand. We'll be able to keep the wand alive, and uh, which uh, is very desirable because it's got some timeouts that are pretty quick. So it'll be anytime the wand is powered on, it'll just stay on. Uh, you can turn it on. You can have the rumble motor going. Uh, it'll stay on uh, for as long as the batteries allow. Uh, the biggest uh, limitation with this still is if you shoot or use the fire button for uh, that long time it will time out and it will shut the wand down. Uh, the circuitry knows what's going on inside that little board and it will keep the pack alive anyway so you can turn the wand off, turn it back on, the pack never knows a thing and it just continues along its merry way. So uh, that way you should be able to uh, have a lot of fun with this and have the pack and wand stay up as long as you want. If you do turn the wand off, so manually if you would say, no, I really want this thing off, it will shut the pack down and the wand down. Now you have a five minute timer still in the pack because that's just the way it's set up. And so if you leave it off for over five minutes, you will have to power cycle the pack. So that is one limitation uh, still, but not a bad one. Oh, and we're getting close. 252. I talked long enough to get this thing to time out in our video without uh, too much dead space. And, you know, it's still going. There we go. Whew. Okay, so now just take the wand. We'll attach the wand. Put your... Yeah, I guess we'll go this way so you can see it. How's that for? Okay, we can see it in here. So the wand, if you still power up the wand, it powers up the pack missile. Oops, sorry for blocking the frame. Let's give some exciting ambient sounds. Uh, and you power down the wand the pack still goes down. So, so far nothing too exciting here, but if we power this up, uh, you could leave it in this mode, but it's not as much fun. So we got some more lights going on in the, in the wand. And then if we'll turn it on. Everything's normal, so now you can see that. The rumble motor is going. Hopefully you can hear both. Let me see if I can get that so you can see it. Oh, may as well start my timer over. So there we got upside down, but starting the timer. And okay, let me turn it this way. 
that better? Oh, you can see everything there. I'll go do other things because now it's going to be boring. You'll just get to watch this thing running with the rumble motor, which normally would not last very long at all. And I will just let you enjoy a video of a running pack and wand. And we're coming up on the three minute mark ish. So the wand has been going in a mode that it has never done that long before on its own. Um, and uh, if you want to be able to turn on and off, so again, the wand's in control, because um, we can show you both. Let's assume you decide now, so we, 331, it's, it'll go forever. Um, we'll fire until it over, overloads, overheats. So this is where normally, if you went into this mode, the wand fires, you go like, oh darn, it went down, it would shut down the pack. Guess we could have shown you that before if I had an unmodified wand, but I don't have one right now. So it, right now it's going like, I don't care, the pack's still going. And if you want to get your wand back alive, it is just power off and power back on. And you'll see, hey, Pack didn't care, one's still here, and still going to modes. Let's say, hey, I really do want to turn this thing down and control the pack. Now, when you actually decide I want it down, we now have, it can still shut the pack down pack up and you see the only thing going right now is just the slow blow of nothing too exciting and some more light uh, again it'll stay on forever until you decide to power it down and when you decide to power it down 
it will go out. Now we do still have the five minute timer here, so if you leave it fully off on its own, uh, you will have to have some friend or uh, be very flexible and be able to reach back on your pack and power cycle the pack. But right now, uh, under five minutes, everything works out great. So there you go. That is all done through the magic of this little board inside here. So it does require some soldering, but uh, the benefits are quite good. So, I hope you enjoyed this preview of uh, that new Keep Alive board just for the wand.